so going on from there, what, what, what media, what do you find yourself using mostly, or do you, do you have a, a media and, a, and a, a general theme that you seem to be pursuing from, for most of your work? Yes, um, as far as media is concerned, I, um, I started oil paint in college, and I found it really a, a challenge, but it was a challenge that I, I willingly took on because I, I felt that it was more, uh, for me, uh, it was more expressive. Or there were more uh, ways of using it from thick to thin than any other media. Um, on the other hand, I experimented with egg tempera, and I learned I learned certain things uh, from that that uh, you know applying myself to egg tempera that I think I brought over into my wow. uh, oil painting, nice. um, and then and then of course I used acrylics for years. Sometimes I underpainted my paintings with acrylic, and uh, I don't do that anymore. I just I found acrylics just too difficult to work with. I just didn't like them, so I'm I'm pretty much full full. Time oil painter. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you what canvas? Do you use linen much? Or? I, I, I definitely use linen, and I'm still searching. I, I have found, unfortunately, I'll find I'll finally find a good linen, and I'll, I'll order a roll, and I'll use it, and it'll be great. And then I'll go back and reorder it, and the quality often from one year to the next has gone down. Wow. And it's just That's astonishing. Sure. I've sent back rolls, and yeah. this is not what is on the swatch anymore. Yeah. And I guess the prices of these things just keep going up, and oftentimes, instead of raising the price more, they'll just cheapen the quality. Yeah. So I'm still I'm still searching for good linens, and maybe so often I find a good one. Uh, I don't prime them myself; I get them pre-primed. I feel like uh, usually they can do a better job than I can. Yes, sure. I've uh, heard I've heard other artists say that too. And, and then there's something. Um, maybe it's just kind of. Uh, uh, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but but you know linen is uh, there's something about flaxseed, and then linseed oil is related to the flaxseed that linen, yeah. you know, and then um, well, there's just some there's a certain unity of all kind these. of integrity about it, right? It's yeah. all the same vegetable. <laughs> yeah. so it just, it it's feels the same earth-based <laughs> material, right? Who knows? But it yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So, um, and your and as for your themes, like the the ones I've seen mostly on your website, I don't know if that's totally rep yeah. uh, mostly landscapes of you know all kinds of. Yeah, that's a very uh, poor word actually to well, describe. There's more to it than one of your landscapes. It's got a lot more than what one would normally think of as when you use the word landscape. But well, thank you. Know, there's you. Kind of spirit to it. That's. Um, I feel, I feel that um, I, you know, I happily call myself a landscape painter, but I do realize that it's evocative sometimes of, of cliche, yeah. you know, and and um, I feel that my challenge is to kind of reinvest the landscape with something that's uh, that's a connection that's real and not a. Uh, you know, not something that we've already seen before, but something that is uh, uh, feels authentically uh, connected. You know? Sure. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, yeah, that's. A, I like that whole idea. I've just been reading a quote from D. H. Lawrence, who said that artists, no matter what they might be like in their private life, when they get to work, in their work, yeah. they become. He calls it the pure in spirit. And the uh, work reflect, reflects that, you know, when the, when the paint hits the, when the brush yeah. hits the canvas, when the pen hits the paper, uh -huh. there's some kind of purity that occurs at that point, you know, that, well, uh, it's, that, it's that true. goes beyond the normal use of our words. Um, it's true because, you know, I've studied, I study a lot of, over the years, technique and I studied what how they painted back in the 19th century, and all of that. And, uh, and, and I was just reading a book about Cezanne, and he said this marvelous little quote: "It's like, okay, it's time to time to um, 
go out with our silly theories and make a painting. Now, that's a paraphrase. But to yeah. me, that the saying that yeah. he acknowledges the fact that these theories, yeah, they may help us get going, but they don't go too far. Then you're just on your own. Yeah. You're on your own. And that's, that's what uh, I feel that at a certain point, that's just so true. We're just on our own. Yeah. And we don't have any theory anymore. No. We don't have any color theory anymore. Right. We are we are just right there, kind of naked in front of nature, That's and yeah. um, doing the best we can. That's wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> it's very simple. It's very simple. It is, but only only after you've spent hours, right? <laughs> I'll tell you something else in that I to. Um, I actually was a photographer when I when I applied to art school. In the day, I, I applied partly on my photography portfolio, and um, for, so for years I used to work with f photographs and paint uh, from photographs. But uh, the last few years I have talked about getting just even more simple. I just I got rid of all of that. I can't do Photoshop anymore. All that stuff. I just have to be in front of the landscape and I yeah. feel um it's I feel it's it's a uh helps me feel more connected to my subject and that's I feel it's the most important. Yeah, well they come across as a conversation with my back and forth. Thank you. Wow. Yeah.